Hello and welcome Manchester University to this nice Saturday morning and Saturday morning that means GLEC smash match today. We got a very special match today. We got Manchester versus St. Francis. Um, someone who's given us some problems in the past, but I know they've had some roster shakeups lately. But first, I'm August or Augment. And this is Alex or Alligator, and we're going to be your hosts for uh, today's match today. And it's also a bit of a special day. It's our eSports viewing party day. So if you're a Manchester student watching this right now by any chance, I'll, I'll bring it up later. But you can come down and get a free snow cone or a free snow cones, multiple. I, I don't know, but you're going to be able to come and get a snow cone. I know I'm getting a nice blue raspberry one delivered to me about the middle of the stream. Are you getting a grape one delivered? Yes. Yeah, and we'll have a grape one delivered. So we'll be munching on some snow cones later during some smash action. Um, yeah, I think we're looking uh, for a good match today. Um, I don't know who we're starting. Did you see what little name tag they clicked on before we started? Uh, duck. Duck. But okay, I think that Clay. just might be default. Uh-huh. The last person who played on it. Marshall IT! <laughs> who named in the lobby? Rip Bubba. <laughs> yeah, Bubba Watso, a former player on St. Francis, did graduate and is no longer um, at St. Francis. Oh! You see who it looks like we're starting? <laughs> a certain phantom thief. So, um, okay. um, Alexander Hamilton, also known as... Founding father. The founding father is going to be oh, yes. <laughs> is going to be making his Gleck debut today. Um, has showed um, off some of what he can do in Nace, but in Gleck for the first time, we're gonna get to see Alex Alexander Hamilton or the founding father uh, get out there and 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 play. So, what are some stuff you're expecting to see from Alex? Some down B. Some down bees. Yeah, we'll see some down bees. Some gun. He spiked me. <laughs> he spiked. Yeah, well, he does like going for spikes. We might see some spikes. I think we're gonna get, see some uh, good gun play coming out because I know that's his personal uh, favorite move on Joker. So I'll be excited to see. Um, Jumping and shooting underneath him. Uh huh. Oh, and by the way, he's got a YouTube channel if you want to go <laughs> subscribe to it. Alex Damon, D A E A L E X D A E M O N, I think. Mm -hmm. Just put out a fire new video, but it looks like we're getting right into our match now, and we have Alex versus the Ness. And here we go. Now this Ness was a previous player from St. Francis, but I was told they didn't have this player anymore. No. Uh, the camera's frozen. But we are the camera might be a bit frozen. I promise there is somebody there, but we are going to get into this anyways. Alex showing up gets a bit of a 40% damage on them right now. But nothing they won't be able to move off quick. Um, but if this is the player who I think it is, we are watching Bam Bingo play. <laughs> Bam Bingo, who was um, St. Francis' third when we used to play against them. got the bat kill on you. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay, Bam Bingo may have killed me with the baseball bat, but ooh, and, and unfortunately coming out and getting spiked, um, bit of an unfortunate start for Alex, but um, I think it's nothing that he can't shake off, especially, oh, he brings us back, he brings us back, especially when that little meter he has will fill up over time, oh, yeah. and he'll be able to get his arsen, I think that's when he'll really be able to be cooking, but I was told they didn't <laughs> have it, bless you, I was told they didn't have this player, they do have Bambingo. Bambingo is here and he's ready to play. Um, and Bambingo has been improving a lot, but oh, we, the, these are some of those down guns we were coming to see out um, from Alex. And now that Arsene is here, I feel like this is when we're going to see a lot of the good things um, coming out now. But Bambingo does look like they're trying to stall this out a bit. Yeah, blocking those PK fires, not going to let him get much, but he does get the side B. That is just going to be good residual chip damage over time, but our scent is gone, so some of our difficulties killing might be present again. Ooh. Yeah, and is able to spot dodge that grab that's really that's nice. Uh-huh, super good. Got him in the corner right here. How's he gonna haul? Oh, gets nicked by the forward air and falls out a bit. Alex really looking trying to find a way to secure this kill and wants to start um, working on the second stock. 
Ooh, tries to empty land in front of him, but it gets stuffed out. This is going to be a re-grab. Oh, yeah, but he's able to get the back throw off. Ha, 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 ha. Edge trap situation. Yeah, trying to poke with that F-tilt, but it's not quite going to make it. Very smart going to the ledge. Does not want to get juggled by Ness. So it says, I'm just going to go to the ledge. And Arsene is here. This could be a dash attack, a back air, a forward air. Really anything. Uh, couldn't get this kill right now. But he does seem like he's opting for the back air. I'd like to see some dash attack for like a whiff punish tool. Um, but jab three, that is going to be good for sending him off stage. Maybe a counter? Oh, okay. Just not going to be able to make it back. Alex taking his first stock here. Sitting at 107%. Not exactly what we want to see, um, but I do believe he, that he's got what it takes to, to keep the fire burning, especially because I, I feel like he's been like waking up a little as oh, yeah. we're playing. What do you think? Well, I feel like it's a little unfortunate how quickly he lost the first stock. Yeah. But he's been playing pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes like it takes you like losing that first stock like kind of quicker than you meant to like, you know. Lock in. Like a, yeah, like lock in. Like it's, it's like a cold shower onto you. You're like, oh gosh, wait, this is is really something. As we're saying this, Alex has racked up like 70%, closing that deficit even more. Going for the down guns there, but oh, he's standing just up, just out of the range of where the neutral getup will connect. He's gonna get up aired here. I think Alex can definitely take one more stock. I think. Oh, oh! The fair one dragged down, but not quite able to get the down smash out. But this is an edge guard situation. Commits a little farther than I'd like to see, but we still have about like 20% left on this Arsene. Well, he's gone now because he got hit. But I really want to see Alex try to take one more here. Oh, does he know what to do? Yes, he does. You, you <laughs> have to jump out of there. Um. He didn't jump out at the exact time that I would have, but I mean, it worked for him, so. All right, how's he gonna be able to secure this one? Oh yeah, tries to do that down B to get past, but I don't think we're gonna be able to see another Arsene. Oh gosh, ah, and that is gonna be a stock. Yeah, Ness is back throw the center of the stage way too strong. Um, so Alex showing up, being able to take a stock from admittedly a player that we were told wasn't going to be here. But Alex, still wonderful showing from him. I think we're going to be able to see um, great things coming from the future as yes. well. Because he is someone who has been... He's, he is a, he's a grinder. Like, he really has been working um, to get good. Whether it's like, oh, when I see red Joy-Cons being paired, I know who's coming in. <laughs> but um, he's someone who's been working really hard. Um, to, to improve overall and I, I, I think he's someone who like he'll see that a lot and he'll be like okay here's what I need to do it differently he definitely next. does his research um, on different things and looking into what he can improve on and uh -huh. all that looks like oh. oh okay hello hello keep it at this angle Say, did well okay. now oh. it's in cam is it this microphone this doesn't have a microphone it does well it's not on was it gone the whole time <laughs> were, were, you, were you able to hear anything we said before anyone in chat or is this our first time hearing our voices they can hear you i was listening to the very okay. entire first ma uh, round okay. All right. and you were speaking Okay, yeah, they could. All right, but getting in here, we now have, in case we didn't say it before, Pittsburgh, Pits of Hell, Caden, Coconut Milk, coming in here, ready to take some names. Uh, the man with many names ready to take some you names. Didn't, you didn't, you're I know, I messed it up, I messed it up. Um, but I don't think the mic picked up my fire. I don't think it did. Um, but we do have Caden coming in. Um, this nest is only sitting at two stocks and Caden with a demanding stock. Oh, and he gets the spike. Oh, and he's getting the edge guard, but is that going to be it? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> the people going crazy outside. Caden with an insane zero to death to start out said, hey, you just beat up my friend Alex. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not going to fly. This is not going to fly. Caden, someone else who I would describe as someone who's been grinding, who's been working really hard. Um, to to show what he's capable of. Probably one of the most improving first years that we've ever seen, um, or that I've ever seen. Um, he, I mean, look at him. He is he is kind of 
beating up on on the nest here. <laughs> uh huh. He see he was gonna shoot and he's gonna shoot those arrows, but he shot up. And that, that's one thing that I feel like about Caden that I see from a lot um, that I want to see from a lot more players is that he learns while he plays. He'll do he'll make a mistake and he'll be like, oh, I can't do that again. I gotta try something different there. Or he sees he sees opportunities that a lot of other people don't see. It's just really great play to see from him. So I'm excited to see what more he can bring. Um, to this crew battle right here. But it, it's looking like it's the Ness who's having trouble kind of getting this stalker, putting on some damage here. Um, and I think that can be a true... Oh! Almost gets spiked. Ooh. Yeah, and the yo-yo off the ledge. That's kind of going to be GG for any, you know, recovery without a hitbox there um, that you can't really space. So Caden does drop a stock, but is able to get a nice up tilt up air. Ooh. Close. Yeah, super close. Uh oh, these PK fire damages are not what we want to see because this is going to do a lot. Caden kind of taking a breath, understanding what he needs to do. I know Caden, he wants to get that grab. He wants to get a grab <laughs> and a forward throw. Yeah, he's going yep. for it. Yeah, he wants to get the grab and the forward throw. Wants to play at that range where he can throw out his um, move safely and not get too punished. Oh goodness! If he got hit by that, that would have been... And that's going to be it. Caden, using the super armor of the side B to go through the forward air. Very, very smart. A uh, wonderful um, thing to see. And by the way, it's something I've seen for a few streams. For anybody cheering for Caden at home, his name is spelled with a Y. So it's K-A-Y-D-E-N. So no problem. Just giving some people a tip. So when he goes back later, he's able to see some, some cheering for him um, in a good way. But... Wonderful showing from Caden or from Pittsburgh as we know Pittsburgh isn't even his tag, but it just goes so hard We can't help but call him Pittsburgh um, Pittsburgh pits of hell uh, armpit <laughs> um, What were some other ones he had? I don't know. I can't think of any more um, But a Really great job from Caden saying all right Alex may have had some struggles let me get in there and show what I can do. And we still got two stocks left too. Yes, and Bring he still and he still has two more stocks. So next match when he goes in, um, he'll still have two. So Manchester is currently still down a stock, um, but I mean if that doesn't show you know that the comeback is capable uh, or the comeback is possible, I don't know what will be. And um, before this was um, Saint Francis's um, third player they would send. Um, usually so without um, Calder or Bubba Watso their formal Diddy Kong and um, Ken player I'm really curious to see what names we'll be seeing come out here um, maybe some people we won't know by name but it's always fun to see oh what character are we gonna see are we gonna be able to see someone we've never seen before or are we gonna get to see more King K rules <laughs> um, yeah, Caden just doing a really good job. We got some nice job. Caden's in the chat getting ready. I mean, Caden, Caden is an absolute joy to watch, especially um, just like his mastery of Pit, I think, is so well. You're going to see some unique stuff from him that you don't see from anybody else. So, And uh, Bro is doing all of this while... Serving snow cones? While serving snow cones. He's about to get done whooping butt out here and then walk over to a snow cone station and whip up some snow cones for everybody here so wonderful 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 um um Wait, we gotta go over our flavors from Kid oh yeah what flavors we got what flavors we've we got, got 12 different and flavors. everyone in listening listen to see um if you hear your favorite flavor and say it in the chat all right so, flavor number one root beer great flavor bubble Two. gum are you still flavor number three <laughs> Cotton candy. Just same, I won't count. Strawberry, watermelon, lemon lime, fruit punch, grape, lemonade, blue raspberry, cherry, and orange. Ooh. I know I personally am going to be getting a blue raspberry one delivered to me later. Root beer does sound good, but I'm sticking to blue raspberry, and I know Alex is getting grape later. Uh, that doesn't sound that good. But you know what does sound good? <laughs> the sound of Caden's arrows being launched across the map. The sound of Squirtle getting hit in the face. So he's gonna fly away. <sighs> oh, Squirtle, he's just big fist punching it out. But we got Caden ready to go in versus the Pokemon trainer. And I've never seen a, uh, uh, 
Pokemon trainer from St. Francis before. So I'll be, I'll be really excited to see um, what this Pokemon trainer is able to bring. But I know what Caden's able to bring. And that's a nice 30% strength right off the bat. Um, he, he, his knowledge of just these low combo situations are just so good. Uh, that squirrel not able to get much from the down throw there. Ooh, you got and one thing, one thing that um, oh, oh a bit of an unfortunate self destruct from Caden. Maybe just getting a bit um, a bit, a bit confused and uh, and getting in the corner there. But um, it's all good. You know, it happens to the best of us. Everyone it's, falls it's off. It's happened to me. <laughs> Everyone's fallen off stage from time to time, but that isn't gonna stop him from getting stuck. And I really think he's gonna be able to take this next one. <laughs> um, I think so. I think I believe be, in him. I believe in him as well, and especially if this person sticks to Charizard, who's just gonna. Ooh, wow, this person really likes swapping out their Pokemon a lot, which is this is something we're super used to seeing. Um, like, oh, I, I want Char. Usually, you want Charizard at high percents, Squirtle at low percents, but. I, I suppose this person has um, just two things that they like themselves, but Squirtle does excellently get him shot off stage. And this is a place that um, I think Caden's really gonna thrive, is that Pokemon Trainer has a bit of a hard time getting off the ledge. So I think that's um, a place where Caden's really gonna be able to uh, shine well. But he's gonna have to get him off stage first and getting hit by that down air. This is proven a bit difficult, but he does get the drag down fair F tilt. Oh, he, he picked him right there. Oh, going for the back hit, and this is this is where you want to bring out Charizard because now these straight hits are gonna kill. So, Caden kind of nervous on that ledge right there, wanting to take his time. Knows he's above him. Oh, but gets hit by the nair. How's he gonna get back to stage? And he does the side beat to hit him back. What a Chad play from Caden, but he is going to get upbeat, and that is gonna take the stock right there. So, like we said, really close one. Right really there. close one right there with an SD. Yeah. So really unfortunate um, that Kane was able to see that SD um, right there. But, I mean, still taking two, two stocks. Decent work for your team. But now, we got someone who got, who's got to come in and, and, and get some work done. And hey, who's better at getting work done than Mitchell Wayne Mans? <laughs> uh, also known as Tamaki. Also known as just Mitch. Mitch coming out. The former... The former... Pac-Man, Sephiroth, Pyramithra, Kazuya, Joker, Terry, Banjo, uh, Meta Knight, Game & Watch, Roy, Peach, uh, there's probably more. Oh, Every Snake, Snake Main. Uh, but, bro has said, I'm going Ken, I'm staying Ken, that's my best character, that's who I'm going to do. So, if I don't see him lock in Ken, I'm going to look real dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what what did some of the chat say about the flavors we like? All right, raspberry. Who, who said raspberry? The, the Freedom five. Freedom five hundred. Dad liking some raspberry. I love it. I love it. Mama Elliot with the cotton candy and blue raspberry. Oh, the cotton candy blue ras raspberry combination. Okay, okay. Yummo. Yummo. Yeah, it does sound yummo. Yummo. <laughs> we got blue raspberry flow. Um, <laughs> Did you not get it? That's what I was doing when I said yummo. It just rhymed better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> oh, my dad saying my man Mitch. That's my man Mitch as well. Mitch is about here. Mitch is in here about to turn up, about to do well. Oh, Wait, never what? mind. What? Never mind. Clay's coming in. Um, Duck190 coming in. Um, we'll see Mitch we'll later. See, we'll see Mitch later, but right now it's 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 Duck190 time. Um, it's a duck? It is Duck 190, um, also known as Clay, um, ready to get in here. Also known as Clay 190. Clay 190, Stoltz 190. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mama Duck with the ducks in the chat. That's what we love to see. Let them cook. Let em cook. Oh, that's what we're going to see uh, Clay do now, known for their wonderful Diddy Kong. If, if, if you've watched some of our um, Nace A matches, just seen some beautiful play from them. Um, so really excited to see what they're able to do. They got a bit of a hill to climb here. Uh, five stocks is kind of more than you can ever ask someone to take. Um, but if there's any person up to the job, I know it's Clay. So all right, looks like we're getting into it now. What? Where are we going? Oh. All right, here we are. We got Clay on Diddy versus PT. Clay focusing up a bit. Um, so adjusting, adjusting the seat, gotta be just right. Um, so Manchester is down five to three right now, and ready to pull out that banana. 
<laughs> there it <laughs> right is. Right at the start, just like my crack shoots a banana at the start of the match is almost guaranteed. But I'm really excited to see um, Clay show up here well. This might be a stock. Okay. <laughs> if they got the banana uh, down air, <laughs> that would have been crazy. But, of course, these low percent damage strings where Diddy Kong doesn't really do a lot of damage. He just hits you so well. And, oh, I mean, we're just seeing this kind of dominant play from clay right here able to get these bananas into dash attack forward airs here I think this is the kind of play we're gonna have to see if they can help <laughs> take all five stocks yes if they do want to take all five stocks they're gonna have to keep this going but clay only taking 24 percent at the start wonderful wonderful but if there's a character that can cheese a stock it's going to be this oh i this clay is face. I was gonna say if there's any character that can cheese a stock, it's going to be Charizard because Charizard just has those giant like uh, high risk, high reward. I'm gonna kill you moves, but an SD, yes, the banana able to snap that jump away, and Clay is able to take um, two stocks without losing any, which is exactly what we want to see. So we're gonna be going to the next match, even, even. I never thought you could trip up a dragon. You can trip up a dragon. Who would have thought? Um, but you can say Duck doesn't monkey around when they're out there on the battlefield. Um, so and, oh, amazing to see uh, from Clay coming around. Um, wonderful, wonderful. So I have cheers for Duck in the chat. Cheers for Duck in the chat. Of course, of course. Um, how could you not after that wonderful performance? So we'll get to see uh, where we're going next. Um, yeah, so we're sitting at three stocks to three at this game one here. Um, couldn't get much closer than this, so I'm excited to see who who is St. Francis anchoring, you know? Are they keeping, like, a secret that we don't know about? I don't Maybe. know. Bubba Watso Jr. is here <laughs> on the Ken. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really uh, excited to see it. Because that's, that's the thing about these, like, Newer teams or teams whose rosters get shaken up is that you know you're gonna see something new. Mm -hmm. um, so whoever it is, I know Clay is up to the challenge to be able to take uh, whoever down. So right now all we have to do is um, wait right now. But I wonder if Cade's gonna get in those snow cones ready yet. <laughs> Near the middle of the match, if if this does end up being a two oh, we gotta be getting close to the middle, right? <laughs> okay, uh -huh. I could go for a snow cone. I could go for a nice snow cone, nice little. Blue raspberry. A nice little 10.30 a.m. snow cone. What other time would you have a snow cone other than 10.30? 11.30? <laughs> uh-huh. 9.30? Yeah. I'm listening. I'm listening to all our options. Um, snow cone every hour on the hour. Yes, yes, yes. Um, look at, wait 30 minutes, but... Looking like they're taking some time for their bands. Uh, really deciding who they want to send in where they want to go okay i do know that they have a cloud player okay um named viridian i believe or viridian might be the wario player i know that actually i think they're the same person <laughs> i know they have a cloud and a wario if it's the same person i don't know but it looks like we're going to town and city which is a stage that i know you, you and i love oh, yeah. um and one i know uh clay really enjoys as well but they aren't taking a Terry to this stage. Um, but I have I have no idea what character we could be seeing here, but Town and City, really big stage, really good for Diddy Kong. Able to go on. <laughs> we are going to be seeing Hero coming out from the final um, from the final player on this team. So Hope Clay's reading comprehension is on point because uh, we're about to see some spells coming out. And, um, oh, it looks like some people are getting some snow cones in the back ready. So... Let's see what Clay can pull off here. Of course. The banana instantly, as always. I don't know. Did Clay play against the hero during the maze match? I do not believe Clay played against the hero, no. I, that could be, I could be wrong on that, but I, I don't think so. I think it was only like Grimbo, James, and Landon, and myself who did it. Um, but, I mean, no stranger to playing against hero. And no damage taken so far. Great monkey flip tech chase here. Has him in the corner. 
Yep, this is this is where we see Clay really shine are these corner situations where, yeah, you try to get away from me, you're going to slip on the banana peel, and I'm just going to chase you the whole time. I think we might not see Clay take a single percent this whole match. Um, okay, maybe, maybe that's a bit uh, demanding, but um, we're looking good now, and that's going to be a stock. Clay with a zero to death right off the, to, to start the match. Amazing showing. Hero not able to put on a single tick of damage, charging that fireball and immediately launching it the other way. Um, but, yep, that kaboom does come out. Um, and Clay, allergic to peanuts, does not um, want to get that peanut grabbed and thrown back. <laughs> um, but this hero, we are seeing a bit of a retaliation here. Um, but once Clay is able to get those openings in, that's when Clay will be able to get those high damage uh, combos and be able to do what Clay's known best for. But the hero going a bit low. Yep, that monkey flip is so good for breaking that distance on this long, large stage. Um, some jabs this in. <laughs> Clay, the signature Clay move. <laughs> barrel crash. Clay's able to use the barrels to stomp into the opponent. But, I mean... I don't even know what to say here. We're, we're seeing Clay do do what they do best and just kind of... Oh, okay. If that move... You know how that move works? Nope. If that move hits you, it calculates both of your percents and pulls up a random like number generator and decides if you're going to die in one hit. It's an instant kill move if it connects and you get lucky. That's a lot of things we'll see with Hero is luck, but that side B is able to take Clay's stock at 141%. But we're able to see a bit of um, a... Bit of a um, deficit um, being created from Clay, even being um, three stocks to three, um, Clay's still sitting at about a 70% lead, which if they can just play patient, wait till this hero's gonna pull out that menu or do another button, that's when they can throw the banana and get the F smash. Uh, and on this stage, with how small the sides are, you're definitely gonna be able to see um, that banana F smash kill super late. And the up smash killing, because the hero had Accelerattle, which makes hero a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Or I believe it makes here a little bit lighter. I could be wrong. But Clay sitting at um, still two stocks, only at 41%. But this is where we might see a bit of a problem where, well, okay, maybe not anymore. The hero had the banana. And if hero has the banana, uh, Diddy's not able to pluck it anymore. Um, which, I mean, that's where Clay finds lots of their openings with that banana there. Clay, they used Hocus Pocus, which is a move that does a random move. And <laughs> they did a move that might randomly kill but clay not getting hit by that snooze no sleepy time here only oversleeping in the morning not in the match actually <laughs> but um sitting at 60 percent this is looking like a nice <laughs> slow play from clay really want to not get cheesed get um you know crit f smashed at zero percent and die <laughs> wonder, what? wonder who, who did the, that i don't i wonder who got crit at zero and, and died no, not no, me no. somebody got crit at 15 ah 15 and how much damage did they take not as much as Clay's opponent just took, <laughs> as Clay only loses one stock in the five that they had to go out and take. So wonderful showing from Manchester Clay. Manchester takes game one. Manchester does take game one against St. Francis there. And um, really good showing. Maybe having to call in uh, the duck alarm there at the end. Um, but either way, that's going to be a great dub. And I'm, I'm really curious who we're going to see now. You know who I want to see? Alex. Mm -hmm. I want to see Alex go back in again and try to get his run back. And try Alex's to... revenge. Alex's revenge. Alex's revenge would be something legendary. Oh, we got Tribby in the chat. What's good, Tribby? Um, and do you think they lead um, Ness again? The, do I think they lead Ness again? Well, usually, I believe that that Ness was their best player just from watching there. And usually, you don't really lead your best player that often. You usually, save them to anchor. Um, so they might switch it up and lead maybe um, a new player that we haven't seen before. But mm -hmm. is that Alex? Am I able to tell that's Alex just from the arm? <laughs> oh, wait, is that Corbin? I think that's Corbin. Who's it going to be? We got someone about to sit down. See who's going to lead us into this game, too. This is best of three, so. Drum roll. Drum roll. Why did I choose to do this? It is Corbin. Corbin coming out. Now, Corbin plays kind of a wide variety of characters. We might see a lot of different picks from him. I'm guessing Ryu. Ryu is his bread and butter. That's who he says, you know, this is my main. Or Lucario. 
I was gonna guess Lucario. Okay, I was gonna say, I know he's been playing Lucario lately, but I assume to see the Ryu. Yeah. It's his best character. It's who he played in Nacy yesterday, and that match was streamed as well if you're able to watch that at home. Uh, but we got Corbin coming out here. Um, not a, not a stranger to Gleck, has definitely played before. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited to see uh, what they're capable of here. I know uh, Corbin has had a bit of a struggle in the past with characters who are very projectile heavy, like kind of breaking that zone. So if we do see Ness, I'll... Me too. I'll... <laughs> Me too. Um, so if we do bring out Ness, I will be curious to see how um, he deals with those PK fires. Mm -hmm. Because if you land one PK fire, another PK fire is coming at you. And then other thing from there. So how is Caden going to be able to like close... Corbin. The... Or, yes, how's Corbin going to be able to close that distance in between uh, himself and the opponent? So, I do you think we're going to see the Nest lead? I don't think I don't so. Think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think they said, you did our best. Let's see who they're going to send in first. Maybe decide if we want to save you for somebody else. Um, maybe, maybe say, okay, you want to fight Duck190 later? We'll save you for Duck190 if Clay ends up coming back out. So, um, Corbin, not too familiar with what stages they usually like, um, is playing a character with auto turn, which is pretty awesome. Um, I was talking about this with Corbin when we were playing doubles. We were, uh, we were both trying to, and in doubles there's no auto turn, and when we're playing we're like, oh, how do we play this game? Are we really this carried by our characters? But, there's a sword fight. yeah. Um, but, I'm excited to get into this next match. I, I really am curious who they're going to be starting here. And I don't know. They took We've a bit. We've seen Ness, PT, and what are we, Hero? Ness, PT, and Hero. So pretty solid lineup of characters. Um, they might just run the Ness back again. I'm not sure if a Ness lead is something they've been doing like this whole time. Um, mm. But it, I'm, I'm going to be excited to see who it is. And... And I'm excited for those snow cones. It's getting a little <laughs> toasty in this room. I'm ready to get some nice blue raspberry snow cones. Your grape snow cone, which... My grape snow cone. Grape, grape sounds good. But... I mean, come on. Blue raspberry is the best flavor. Blue raspberry is a good flavor. It's so good. It's just... It's a lot of flavor. It is a lot of flavor. Ooh, we're seeing a new character come out from St. Francis' side. New character? I did not see what it was. Okay. Pyramithra oh. coming out. Yeah, Pyramithra. This is not a fun matchup um, for Ryu, but he does have a nice projectile, which is something really only Pyra has, and she's got kind of that slow one, but a nice 30% immediately away. Uh, I mean, look, look. Oh, and one thing about Corbin, bro is locked in. Look at him on that player cam. Head down. No one would to do putting his head in the game. Literally getting down to business. Only taking 12% and dealing 130. Um, I think we'll, we'll see a lot of smart plays uh, from Corbin. Definitely, definitely. Against a character who is still really good, but can kind of be more calculated in what they do. Don't get, oh gosh, no double jump off the stage. That's what I was scared about, is them getting spiked, but that Flame Nova is gonna come out. And the, I think the DI was was a bit wrong what they're gonna do, but that is gonna be a stock, the down tilt into the, into the Tatsumaki. Evened it up. Evened it up uh, right away, and I think they just got a little lucky. <laughs> I think they got a few good strings. So, oh! 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 oh. Okay, sorry, sorry to interrupt right now. Okay, oh, <laughs> Corbin dealing 100% while we're gone. I'm going to wait to, I mean, you can imagine why we got excited here. Uh, and it's not just for Corbin uh, kicking kicking butt right now, but is able to take the next stock. Was that his unit death? Did he take any percent? I don't remember how much he was at before. Um, but that's what I said. I think maybe, maybe a bit of string of luck from the other side, which of course is something nice you can get, uh, but is getting comboed a bit. This is where the, um, where the match is going to be tough. Um, like when they get hit, when they're gonna be able to stop getting hit. Oh my oh. gosh! Focuses through the F smash, which would have obliterated him. Um, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised it didn't break through the focus. Um, but we're back here. 
Yeah, Corbin really wanting to preserve that stock, saying, you don't really know what to do against this fireball, so I'm going to keep shooting it out. But, oh goodness, those F smashes coming out. These rogue aerials from Pyra. So good. This Pyra says, I want to get at least one more stock, so I'm just going to keep playing at my distance. Ooh, tries to connect the up air into the uh, shore you, but it's not quite going to connect. But we are seeing at a kill percent where, like, a jab... Excuse me, a, a jab proxy would kill. Ooh. Gets the down tilts. Caden is going to have to compete. Corbin. Or, yes, Corbin is going to have to compete with these wide swords and is able to get out of that um, down air up B combo. Mm. Gets him off. I don't know if they have a jump anymore. Landing on. Oh, but landing on stage. Opting to have the little bit of eruption hitbox come out there. So Caden, Corbin, sitting at one stock here and is able to get that there down tilt. Uh, Tatsumaki coming in. Uh, so. Wonderful, getting the lead for uh, Manchester right at the start. And kid, we want to say anything to the stream? T ch ch change this over, change this over. Hi guys. Oh, come on, get 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 in here, get in here. T Free snow it. cones for everyone. Free snow cone. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My courtesy. Uh huh. Wonderful. Also, wonderful. Blake's going great right now. Oh yeah, I was gonna yeah. say we just saw you kick butt out there, oh, yeah. doing that, very that well. Nest. That nest. Oh yeah, that nest. That might be best nest. They told me that nest wasn't here. <laughs> they said nest, that nest wasn't here. They dropped the controller, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh. Snow cone is here. Yeah, oh. Oh. Don't tell Garrett. Don't tell Garrett. Don't clip it. Um, But, oh. I'll wait for Alex to get their grape one before I get into mine. But, oh. You go for oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. I'll wait. Look at how good Don't that do looks. It again. Oh, a, oh my gosh. It's like the Twitch clips where the streamers are like, look at my plate of spaghetti I got. And then the spaghetti falls onto their keyboard. Um, or their pizza falls out or something like that. Um, but first augment, hot take. Best flavor is bubblegum, not blueberry. Well, I didn't say blueberry, it's blue raspberry. Blueberry is pretty good though. <laughs> bubblegum. Bubblegum's good. If you're it's, clay. It's, hard, it's hard to get a good bubblegum flavor. Everybody yes. does it different. Uh-huh. Everyone does it. It's not consistent. I'll say the same about grape. Oh. Art artificial grape can is like a hit or a miss on what it tastes like. Does it taste like, I don't know, artificial grape or does it taste like medicine that I'm trying both to Both are good. To? Both are good. I'm not saying both are good. I'm just saying you can go and it's it's like when you you know drink water or, or you think you're drinking water and you get like Sprite or something. Like, pop, 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 pop. Oh, thank you. Yippee! Thank you. Show it off to the stream. Well, I don't want to do what you did. It looks <laughs> black on the stream, but it is purple. But, oh, shall we? Smell that. Oh, wait, wait, let me smell that. That's great. Oh, smell that. Cheers. Dink. <laughs> How is it? Pretty good. That's some good stuff. <laughs> and the thing is, a snow cone only gets better as you eat it. Because you get down to where... Oh, goodness, be careful. You're, you, no, d oh. uh, there, <laughs> looking good, another blue raspberry enjoyer here, all right, looks like we're Take going in, <laughs> but the thing about a snow cone is that it'll only get better as you go down to the syrup, as it goes down, syrup, syrup, syrup. whatever you say, it's delicious, All right. We can't eat during the matches, so this is our time we get to enjoy our snow cone. Uh, Looks like we're running it back with PT. Yes, the PT is coming out again. It does show that we're keeping the nest anchoring now. Uh, Corbin is going to be sitting at one stock right now, which is definitely enough to, to get some stuff done. That squirrel is jumping for joy over there. <laughs> really excited. Yippee, 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 yippee. Is really excited to get in there and start the match. So we're going to see a nice taunt, and we're getting right into it. Um, but PT is going to have these really strong combos that can be a bit tough to, um, to get out of, like we saw him getting hit by before with the uh, Mithra. Oh, and there's the water gun off stage. Um, and that water gun as well, going to be able to put him off stage. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how long they'll stick to the Squirtle. 
Um, but not able to rack up on any damage and getting 70 done on them. But I think K Corbin's one of those players that once they find their opening, that's when some there big damage um, is able um, to come on the board, whether it's from like a string or something otherwise. Um, but we are, we do see the Ivy Sword come out, which little less fast, little more agile, or little less fast and less agile. Um, something maybe Corbin will be able to get some damage on more. Um, oh, the Bullet Seed coming out, able to break through that. Not a move we really see that often. Um, but oh, gets the Nair into the down tilt. Oh, but goes for the four tilt shield breaker, and it's not quite gonna connect. How's he gonna get off the ledge here? Yep, yeah, just swapping the Charizard, use those multiple jumps to get away. And that back air, that back air like a shotgun blast coming out, able to take it. Uh, mm. I was going to say I want to see Alex come in, but someone stood up and grabbed their controller. And that person is... Mitchell Man! Mitchell Man! Mitchell Man's the person with the Mitchell plans. He's out here. Um... Driving around his Mitchell van that says <laughs> Taylor's version on the back of it. Yeah, here with his Mitchell stands. Ooh, his Mitchell stands. Um, Are you a Mitchell stand? He's drawn with his Mitchell crayons. <laughs> um, Got any more? I got that. But Mitch is coming in. Something we said before is if you were a fan of Banjo because of his Banjo before, um, probably not going to be able to see the Banjo coming out anymore. So don't get too sad in the chat. But we are <laughs> able to see his Ken come back out and put in work, which putting on Bro's putting on Tekken music. Okay, no, he locked in Ken. He locked in Ken. Um, so excited to see this come through, but man. Yeah. Have you reached the the Look at that. Syrup? I'm getting close to it. I'm getting close to it. Mm. What map are we on? Looks like small battlefield or battlefield. I assume small. I think Mitch prefers that stage uh, for Ken, but who knows? He's had a bit of a, a, a Ken awakening. Um, but take here. I think we're going to see a Mitchell sweep. Okay. I think this group battle's donezo. I think Mitch is about to come out here and really show what's up. Um, I can see that. I can see that too. I mean, his can. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Um, his can. Mitch, the captain of B team. Mm -hmm. The leader um, of the B team in NACE. Um, so he's shown he has some that, that leadership potential and is ready to lock in Ken. It is good to have Mitch's Ken back. Let's get out here. Let's see some shore use. Let's see some side Bs. And let's see some focuses. And let's not see any SDs. This is something I'm really I'm really excited to see Mitch play here. Mm. Got my into it. Woo! And may I add, we just went from Ryu to Ken. To Ken? So maybe we'll have a full fighting game roster going on. But Mitch, dealing 70. This might be a stock. Oh, Square was so small. They were able oh. to go past it. Oh, oh goodness. Yep, yeah. Oh, I went for that um, weak show. You're not quite able to connect to this. Yeah, Mitch taking a bit of a damage here. This is where the FGCs are going to be a bit weaker. And, but one thing we will see after this is if Mitch does win this. Someone who's coming in, who, if this is the player I think it is, has some uh, really good Ken experience. That's going to be a stock with the jab, sure you, Mitch, only taking 95%. Wonderful, wonderful to see. Oh, but, like you said, Bubba, previous Ken main of this school, so some of these players do have some experience with a really good Ken um, near to Mitch's level. And Mitch getting up this damage early. Oh, just trying to rip that up air. Oh, oh. Gets the back throw off. Oh, and they missed it. <laughs> yeah, that would have been Mitch's demise. But we're at a really high percent. We're going to be able to see a lot of things kill. But, oh goodness. Rage. 
armors through the move. That looked kind of raw. Mitch still living, but is probably going to get smacked off stage. Yeah, I'm not able to tech it. Um, and he's going to drop that stock there. But at 70%, and they're swapping back to Squirtle. If they're able to get a nice move off, this could be... I mean, Squirtle is, I believe, like the top five lightest characters in the game. I think... I know Pichu is lighter than him, and I think... Game & Watch might be lighter? I don't know. It's Little Baby Turtle. Which also makes him very hard to hit, because he's a Little Baby Turtle. Yep, Mitch says, I'm not going to have to confirm it to anything. I'm just going to raw sure you can be able to take the stock here. Manchester is sitting up at five stocks to St. Francis's four um, in this game two situation. Mitch, Mitch has just been able to get up so much damage so early. Oh, yeah. Which is something that um, I, I, I missed seeing from him. Um, but, oh, the, does the fly on stage or not? Quite able to do, oh, uh, get much from it. Yeah, I get nicked by that get up attack. Another whiff fly, this probably isn't gonna be the stock, yeah. All right, do we think Mitch is gonna lose another or we think he's just gonna end this? He's gonna end this. I think he's just gonna end it. He's gonna get a nice proxy shore you can and that's gonna do it. If if Mitch does lose another stock, it's probably to this Charizard ripping something. Oh. Uh -huh. Mitch, I don't think doing the move he wanted there, but it's the move that happened unless, and that is, oh, he, the bro is gone, bro is gone. Mitch, leaning back in his chair, saying, all right, yeah, I got this. So, job well done. Yes, yes, job very well done for Mitch. A wonderful return to his Ken, able to show some of the stuff he's really capable of with the character. Um, so really proud of Mitch, great job um, from there, and you know who's coming next. Who's coming next? Bam Bingo. Bam Bingo, or who I assume Bam, uh, who is Bam Bingo. Um, the Ness is coming in, which I know isn't a character Mitch really loves to play against that much, so I'm gonna be really excited to see how he's able to do. Is he able to keep his composure? Is he able to land his combos? And Bam Bingo has some, <laughs> this Ness player does have some Ken experience, so. Oh, really? Yo. It is blue. And speaking of blue. Oh, <laughs> that's about to be so good. Mm. Was that a lot? It was a little muck. <laughs> ah. Sour? Not sour, it was cold. <laughs> ah. It's cold. It's cold. All of it's going down there. You can see how dark <laughs> Alex it is. Alex just kind of has ice at the top of theirs right now. <laughs> That's the case for me. I've got ice in the world. Let me see yours. Mm. Okay. Alex's looks the same. I think it's. <gasps> Look who's in chat! Who? <laughs> Hi, Dad! Clam Hammer coming out. That's my dad. That's uh -huh. the goat. Clam hammer coming out. She clamming my ham till I'm her. We got clam hammer in the chat here. Ready to support some <laughs> smash action coming out second. here now. And it looks like we're getting in oh. to our... F oh, wait. Oh, I dropped a piece on my shirt. It's cold. Wait a second. What is this? Hero. Hero. No anchor Ness? Anchoring hero again? Anchoring hero. No Ness coming out. Or maybe that Pyramithra was um, Ness. Who knows, Maybe. but looking to make this the final match. Um, Mitch coming out here, ready to whoop some tail. Um, and we are going to have to see Mitch how easy to get around a lot of the stuff that Hero um, puts out. So Manchester sitting at only two stocks this match to three. There's some good early oh! combos. Oh, God! Really good early combos. <laughs> Again, scared of being off stage. Is this going to be a spike? Not it. Oh gosh, off stage. The camera's so big I can't see what's going on behind it. But Mitch only Woo! dealing 109 and gets a zero to death right at the start. Amazing, amazing. Oh, gets the down smash Tatsu. Oh man. I can say it again. Just like Clay, I think Mitch will be taking no damage this match. Oh. I don't care about your Ken experience. It means nothing here. Um, chasing down. Yeah, chasing him down, knowing exactly what to do. Mitch is not looking to take any damage this match. The Mitch sweep. The Mitchell sweep is something we're going to see coming out here. Down here. Oh, okay. Oh. Does, 
does take eight eight percent. Oh yeah, yeah. It's usually you you play like in the zone until you get hit, and then then you're like, okay, I can get I can get hit. That was a, bit a good more. focus. It was a very good focus. Able to get through those moves there. Oh goodness. Yeah, it gets hit by that sizzle. But Hero does have low MP, which is gonna make them not be able to use as many of their spells. Mitch off stage. He's gonna have to figure out how to get out of this corner. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, lagging oh. Mitch's face. He just hit like a <laughs> Mitch shaking his head, saying, "Oh my gosh!" He react. <laughs> he was able to read it was bounce in the lag and be able to pick it. <laughs> Mitch, so Mitch, not happy about this lag. Like he's not wanting to commit as much either. <laughs> it does seem like it's cleaned up a bit. And yes, the down tilt. Woo! into i believe roundhouse i could be wrong is able to do it saint francis sitting on their very last stock here and mitch not losing one. Oh god that was so much grape syrup <laughs> a lot of grape syrup coming out here um uh, mitch really i don't think mitch is gonna lose a stock here he's been on fire and ken with rage is gonna be able to pull out a lot Oh, he's um, got of nice things. Oh, big combos <laughs> coming out. I know. Bro just did like 60, but is going to get Ooh. nicked by that side B. Um, if Mitch does die here, I think it's going to be to uh, something funny hero related. Whether it's that's going to be a critical hit uh, or an instantly killing move. Mitch has been playing. You would know a lot about critical hits. I would. <laughs> I wouldn't know a thing or two about uh, <laughs> critical hits, except Mitch is about 20% uh, higher than I was uh, when I got critical hit and died at zero. Um, but this hero is often used a lot more, lot less of their menu, a lot more of their sword. Um, ooh, really nice early top. Um, sh sure, you to come out and hit it. Yeah, and, and, and no, barely any mana left from the hero, so we are not going to see any more spells. We are going to see some brawling coming out. They do get the psych up. Ooh, the side tilt is probably not gonna kill Mitchell lives oh. and the, okay yeah the sizzle comes out is able to take it Mitch drops the stock which is all right Alex I want to see Alex close this game out <laughs> Alex has had experience against um Caden's hero before Alex is even a hero player themselves so might try to hero diff him might be a little toxic but it would be Go kind of hard. That that would be on brand. Maybe for I should Alex. Run, maybe I should run out there and go play <laughs> for the last one, real quick. But who we got come? Yes, 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 yes. This is who I wanted to see come out. Alex. <laughs> Ready to take their? Oh yeah. Get oh, you're gonna that. spill oh, it. You're gonna spill oh. it. Uh, I'm, I'm just wanting to make sure it's no longer ice <laughs> by this point. Because uh, I feel like that's all I've been chewing on. Alex, our original player who led... Uh, not this Alex, different Alex. The founding father. Um, Me. Alex is, is going to come out. And What's his name? Alexander Hamilton. The founding father, Alex Damon. You know him. You love him. He's coming out on the Joker. Able to, um, going to do his best to secure one last stock and walk and you, uh, right to victory here. Oh yeah, oh, he's yeah. got this. Oh, he's got it. He's got one stock. Easy. Uh, that's all he's got to take. It's his time to shine. It is his time to shine. Which, um, maybe a a a, a, a bit of a start, not as desired. Maybe uh, for his <laughs> debut, only able to take one. But going up against a bit of a, a, a tougher opponent than anticipated. He started this thing, he's about to end it. Oh! Alex, the founding father, about uh, to come out here and end this. Um, ready to go with the Joker. It looks like we're going to Hollow Bastion here. Um, not going to allow much room for Hero to pull out that menu um, that much. And is um, going to stay um, in those close quarters or um, nicking them with a gun, not letting them pull out their menu and stuff. So this is going to be good. It's going to be good. I, I really was hoping to see him one more time for his Gleck debut match. I, I want him to close it out. Um, and, of course, you know, even if something unfortunate happens and isn't able to close it out, we got a game three coming up, and we'll be able to run it right there. Did yep. the hero change their skin, or am mm -hmm. I missing – did I – it was not that one before. He's got the cool slime earrings. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he changed his skin. Mm -hmm. But – Alexander Hamilton, the founding father, coming in um, with three stocks to um, St. Francis is one. Doing a little shimmy, waiting around. Us Terry players can't do that. <laughs> Both of their taunts brought out their little guys. 
One brings out a slime, one brings out another. Okay, this is something that we I expected to see from here. Oh, these, you know, these super early spells gonna get some um, some some pretty cheap damage on you pretty quick, but damage We're nonetheless. Get Arsene yes, Ar early. Arsene is here, and Arsene making his moves stronger, giving him some new moves as well. It's gonna be something that I think that and that's the great thing about playing a, a Joker in this situation is that Alex is gonna get like at least three Arsens throughout this match um, from from um, their stocks and stuff. But able to rack on 36, and you know this might seem. Um, <clears throat> like a really bad spot, but Alex, you know, of course, still able to get these. Con oh, they're dead. <laughs> Alex using the down gun, probably his favorite move. Um, his favorite move to just go down there, pop, 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 <laughs> down there, able to finish off that match. So that is going to be, yeah, Alex celebrating, celebrating. That is going to be Manchester um, taking the victory 2 0 over St. Francis. Uh, moving on in our undefeated um, Collect Conference. So, a lot of wonderful stuff um, from all the players we saw today. Mm -hmm. um, and that is Alex's Glek debut. They've played in Crew Battles for Manchester before, but um, Glek is the first time, uh, or this is the first time we've seen them in Glek. How's that snow cone doing? Mine, mine's gone. I've already eaten mine. <laughs> what we got? What we got? Oh, we're getting down to like the <laughs> really, really nice parts. The syrup. The syrup is coming out. Uh, I just want to say, if you want some Manchester University esports action, your day is not ending. It is just beginning because at 12 p.m. we will play Rocket League, and then at 1, we'll be playing more Rocket League. Double header. Uh-huh. One of our matches against Defiance. I don't know who that other school is. Anderson. Anderson. So we'll be playing Rocket League against Anderson and Defiance, a double header, and then Overwatch 2 will also be taking on Anderson today. And then later at four, we will have League of Legends versus Uwash. <laughs> I don't know. But we got a lot of stuff coming on today. If you're a Manchester student watching, you're still able to come down to the viewing party, get a free snow cone, do everything you need to do. But um, unless you got anything else to say, I think I think that's where we call it. Snow cone's gas. Snow cone is wonderfully gas. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, make sure to stick around for more Manchester University esports mm -hmm. things and sure. follow the stream, do everything. And oh, oh. the funding. Oh, Our funding. Friends. Yes, yes. Um, I'm not sure how much this has been uh, promoted, but Manchester University is starting a help um, a traveling cost equipment fundraiser. This is lasting from February 9th to February 18th. Um, there's going to be a crowdfunding link in our Discord announcement server, if you can see it from there. I'm sure it'll be in our social medias. Are they there now? Um, if they aren't there, they'll be there eventually. Um, this is a way that um, you'll be able to support us. We'll be doing some live streams here to help raise some money for it. Um, so it's something I'm really looking forward um, to doing now. So I don't think, yeah, it's not, it's not on our social media yet. Oh wait, no, it is, it, it is. is, okay. So. Yeah, we've grown to 90 plus players and have reached um, kind of capacity for our space. So um, consider donating would really help our program. Um, it's um, something that would really help us out. And we got 141 days to do it. So let's do it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in another stream later. Bye. Bye.